Right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, November 17th. So on the agenda, I will cover last week's action items and then um, what's new in GSOC 2023. Yes, that's happening already. And then Jenkins election update. Kevin, I'm hoping that you can give us a brief update on that. FOSDEM 23 and SCALE, which is Southern California Linux Expo 2023 that will happen in March, early March. So uh, anything else that we need to cover? Uh, maybe a shameless plug for me uh, because I gave mm -hmm. a talk about Jenkins last week at um, Mobile DevOps Summit. Okay. Just a one-liner, but... Mobile Summit, was it? Mobile DevOps Summit. I'll give you the link later on or modify the documentation. Thank you. Yeah, I think I still have, we still have it down below. So, okay. So um, I had an action item from the last time that we met was to create a Google form um, for our newsletter. And the purpose of that was to have an opportunity for Jenkins users to add input or share what cool things that they have been working on for the, you know, the last month within Jenkins and that share that with the community. So I've created the form and um, it's quite simple. I didn't want it to be a long form. You know, I didn't want the newsletter to be too long because um, or else people aren't going to read it. But um, it's here. So basically, contact information, share with us what cool things that you're doing with Jenkins, and then suggestions for how we could improve the newsletter. I'm open to suggestions. So if you have any feedback, please send it my way. Um, and that's that. Do you have any questions here? Straightforward. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Mark is not on the line. So we were supposed to talk about the contributor summit. The action item was that I spoke with Mark and he was going to send out a communication with the um, initial, uh, I think it was the initial uh, suggestion for the remix. So mm -hmm. basically it's three days, uh, in, contributor in, summit two hours two each hours day. yeah mm -hmm. yeah and then so the first day we'll we will talk about uh status reports and the ux future security on the second day and then end user experience so mark has highlighted these items but he just needs to communicate it and then we were supposed to like follow through and set up um the contributor summit so waiting for that to happen from Mark before I can do anything. Uh, yeah. Alyssa, if I can give you uh, a, a small advice, uh, I think we should poke, uh, if this correct English, uh, uh, Mark and remind him. I think he has a very busy schedule right now yeah. and eventually see if, if this can't be delegated. Yeah. But... I, I, I did you. ask him. He's like, well, I think it should come from me. I'm like, okay, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll poke him again. I, yeah, and, and see. Otherwise, uh, we need to to ask him, can we go ahead to the group here? Yeah. And uh, because the time is ticking. Yeah. Yeah, it's December, lots in December. So, so we need a move. Yep. Agree. Yep. I will do that. So GSOC 2023, Google has sent out the communication for that already. They announced that um, just a couple of things that's going to be new in GSOC 2023, which is that instead of it being 12 plus weeks long, it will be 10 to 12 weeks. Um, this gives it a flexibility for, for contributors and mentors to focus on small to medium to large projects. Um, so that was nice. And then the other change is that they are now opening it up to both students and um, new contributors. Okay, and the timeline is there. Um, 
timeline is available here. We need to submit our application. So end of January, beginning of February. So I like to get that stuff done earlier rather than later. So I will definitely work on that. We're earlier than we're about one a month and a half earlier than last year. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it it's not a reason not to continue pushing, as we know that uh, we need uh, project ideas and mentors, and this will require some work. So we're good. We're, we're... Yeah. So. Um... We did a blog post call for mentors and project ideas. So Anya, if you want to speak to your CMO, we, we are looking for mentors. It does not need to be, you know, anyone uh, that you're, you're new to the project, welcome. And, you know, if you want to be a mentor, we can help guide you in this space. But we're always looking for mentors and projects idea that will help improve the project, the Jenkins project. Okay. So, yeah, feel free to sh share this within your organization, especially with people that's currently using Jenkins. Um, sure. We can make an impact. We can make a difference by mentoring um, new contributors and students. Um, so the concern, as we usually have with pretty much, I guess, every year and previous year is that we do not have enough mentors. Right now, I only have four mentors signed up and um, project ideas. We're still working on that. We're still looking for project ideas for how we can um, improve the project. So that will be an ongoing discussion and we will be reaching out to individuals to see if they want to mentor again this year and um, looking for always looking for prospects for mentors. Anything else to add, John Mark? No, I'm uh, working on improving the pages on Jenkins.io. So enabling uh, everything for 2023 and making notes uh, on what, uh, what needs to be uh, updated. So the pull request is up. Mm -hmm. So as you see, it still references uh, 2022, and um, I, I'm working on the PR, and I should release or or make it available for review tonight. My time. Awesome, awesome. So, let uh, me know. Okay, let me know what if you need anything from me there. Yep. So that's moving along, now. and All updating right. also the. Uh, run book with all the all the things that I yeah thank you for doing that okay Kevin uh yeah so uh as far as the Jenkins elections go uh we have we had 61 people registered to vote uh and we have uh, at the moment one nomination per role uh, and so we'll have a blog post coming out later this afternoon to announce everything. Mm -hmm. um, voting is closed officially, uh, or voter registration is closed officially. Uh, sorry, oof, you, so, you scared me, Kevin. Don't do that. My I, heart. I am so sorry, John Mark. I would never <laughs> try to scare you on purpose. I promise. Um, but yeah, but um, I have a pull request open right now uh, that uh, I'm just getting a couple uh, final reviews on. And we'll be publishing that as soon as I have confirmation that everything's all set. Mm -hmm. um, and that will announce the candidates and what the process will look like for this year. Um, I can't really say much more than that at this moment because uh, that when that's published, it'll have all the relevant necessary information uh, that Mark told me not to say out loud. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now... Um, since we only we have there's one nomination for per each role uh we're still voting yeah so that'll be part of the announcement yeah ah, um gotcha. okay so, yeah that's uh I, so like i said there's a couple things that i i don't know for sure that mark wants me to disclose just yet okay. um so i'm trying to be as judicious as possible with not sharing anything which is kind of rude but um Yes, we will have more information about the voting process, the candidates, the statements, 
uh, relevant links, affiliations, and everything else. Um, and it looks like the time frame that we had in mind is going to be perfect for all this as well. So um, the uh, current term is going to end on the second. The next term will start on the third. Everything should be good to go. And um, the current members and officers uh, will be reaching out to the other individuals to set up transit transition and um, just knowledge share after the fact. So, yeah. Great. Thanks, Have Kevin. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, it's FOSTEM 23. So <clears throat> the CICD Dev Room CFP is currently open and it will close December 12th. Um, this is taking place in Brussels, Belgium. And um, I know that Bruno made a submission to the embedded mobile and automotive dev room. Yes, because the CICD room is only half a day. So I don't want to, you know, to be just about everywhere. There must be other voices that we need to hear, so not mine this time. So Bruno, is is the is the embedded mobile and automotive dev room, is that like right running a regular schedule? Like it's not half a day? I was afraid you would ask me this question because uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, okay. So yeah, I know the same sentence I just said for CICD also makes sense for this room. But as I know, nobody who is uh, ruling, you know, this room, I don't know. And the organizers know what they want to hear. So maybe I just posted the proposal that will be refused and it's perfectly fine with me. Sorry, Jean-Marc, go ahead. Oh, no, but uh, can't you submit to both? Of course I can, but because, I don't think uh, I will. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but uh, you can still choose which dev room you want to to do your talk. So yeah. I will not prepare a talk for for there. Yeah, uh, I'll be busy with the universities, I, I believe. But yes, and anyway, we have some kind of a booth. Uh, so yeah, we, sure. Yeah, yeah, if we don't give talk, we can be there at the booth speaking with Jenkins enthusiasts, and that will be cool. Right, right. And yes, Jenkins will have a booth. Well, at least we've submitted an application for a booth, <laughs> have yet to be uh, accepted, but we did apply. And so far every year, we've always had a booth. So hopefully that will happen again. Okay. And then uh, Scale 20X, Southern California Linux Expo. This is the event that KK has been going to since, my gosh, maybe as long as I've known him. <laughs> and um, we get this for free because we are open source. So we get a 10 by 10 booth space for free. And last year, Mark and I staffed the booth. We had a speaking slot at the conference as well. And, um, and we plan to do that again this year. And so far, many people come to us and they tell us how much they love Jenkins. So it would only be right that we are there. Okay, um, Bruno, this next one oh. is for you. Yeah, I already told too much, but anyhow. So last week there was a mobile DevOps summit. A lot of interesting talks to hear. Uh, I don't know if the videos are up and running yet. I don't know, but mine uh, is screwed up. So <laughs> we had some technical issues, unfortunately. So I don't know if it will be available or not. So uh, the next day I recorded the talk separately in the same condition. Uh, except for the technical issues, of course. So I posted it today on my new YouTube channel, which is some kind of parodic channel about Jenkins. Parodic is not the right term. You will find the right one. It's just that it's not deadly serious. It's just me talking about Jenkins. And as I don't know much yet about Jenkins, it is what it is. And with my bad sense of humor. There you go. Well, thanks for, thanks for showing well, thanks up for and thanks work. for... For, yeah. for doing that. You're welcome. Try, try to have uh, more subscribers than Darren. <laughs> <laughs> what a challenge. Have, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least I have two, two additional points. Yes. Tell me when I could, can go ahead. Yeah, you can go ahead. So uh, first point, I'll be working on, uh, based on the statistics that I made for Oktoberfest, uh, I will start to build some 
statistics so that we can see the eventual impact uh, on um, uh, submissions, PR submissions and contributions uh, following actions uh, that we organize so that we have something where we can uh, measure the contribution of, uh, ecosystem. So uh, I, I'm making progress on that and uh, we'll have more. So uh, will you yeah. deliver that via a blog post on Jenkins.io or how will you? Uh, at least, so publish the raw figures and uh, probably make it available in a form or the other. So either uh, uh, an online meetup, a blog post or something like that. But this is material that we will we'll share with the community. Okay. So at least uh, with the board first, and then we, we're going to see. The publication is not, I, I don't have a clear idea how to do that. It's not my focus uh, right now, but it's designed to be published. Okay. Al although in the beginning, there will be a lot of hand digging and a lot of uh, uh, ad hoc queries to try to understand fine pat patterns. I think the blog post will be the regular blog post will be uh, the, the way to go. Still need to think okay. on it. Okay, the, so we do have the September newsletter that we can include in there too. Uh, November newsletter. You scared me. So Sorry. that that was that was uh, okay. Here, uh, let me first crank out the the raw figures. Yep. And uh, then I make these figures talk to me. Okay. I I will carefully listen to what the figures say, but you know, figures you can make them tell whatever you want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I here I'm I'm collecting data and we'll we'll do some some data analysis and, and try to see what, what we can understand uh, uh, from that. Okay. The other point is um, we have the CDF outreach committee committee uh, restart or um, where we have a bunch of things that we should or could uh, prepare. Mm -hmm. I think there is a meeting planned for mid-December. So okay. that's in four weeks. Uh, I need to check. There was a mail. Was that sent out recently, Jean-Marc? Uh, I think um, uh, there was a refresh of that mail. So um, Laurie sent a new mail on November 15th. Oh, okay. Uh, an update uh, and normally uh, Mark copied you on that mail. So we have, oh. and they, it's uh, December 14th. Okay. Uh, so uh, they want for that uh, representation of each project. So they were sure to keep the community informed mm -hmm. uh, on all the existing things happening in each project, as well as hit the CDF goals and objectives for 2023 and beyond. Uh, so there is some preparation to be uh, to be done uh, there, and they would like to have a representative uh, okay. from Jenkins project. So we have our homework uh, to do there. Maybe we'll do an ad hoc meeting uh, uh, with a core group here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I um, I plan to be there because um, okay. I've been part of CDF for a while now, so it's not completely new for me. Yeah. Um, you need to be sure that you're reelected, Alyssa. You need to do your 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 campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I I will I will work hard at it. I will. I promise. Okay. We should uh, all uh, wave uh, our uh, little flags written Alisa for president. Alisa, <laughs> Alisa for, for officer. Though no, there, 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 as far as I understood from Kevin, there are no other candidates. But, <laughs> but, 
but yeah, here you, you make it. It'll be a tough fight. It'll be a very yeah. tough fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with yourself. <laughs> yeah, indeed. But you, you're doing a great job with, with that. And so normally, uh, I think we should wait for, for this election to be uh, finished. But I, I think you can bridge the, yeah. the, the gap and attend that meeting. We need to review what are the questions that they ask and see that we, we don't go. Uh, right. So. Yeah, I'll reach out to them and then uh, so that we, we have those questions in hand and be prepared for it. Yep. Otherwise, I don't have anything else. Okay. No, this is great. Thank you for sharing these items. Okay. If there's nothing else, um, we can call it a day. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.